Uh, as you can see, the Vice Chancellor had to intervene because uh, we have overshot our time, and I think he has uh, uh, other commitments. And we, we are holding up the, I'm sure, the DG and the uh, other officials uh, have pressing things after we overshot our time. So, um, if I could ask us to wrap up. Uh, I don't think we can formulate actual points within this this short time. Perhaps uh, the, the, the video could do. They will they will pick up they will pick up the uh, uh, some actual points. But uh, I'd like to for very quickly for a statement from each panel member um, on the way forward in terms of really uh, developing the biodiversity informatics uh, kind of tool or framework uh, going forward. Thank you. Maybe each one of you is just a uh, Thank you. Thank you, Dennis. Uh, as an action point, I guess I want to not have so much time. I think I want to pick up Michelle's idea is out of the room. But uh, as a way of knowing where we want to take this, where do we want to go? And this is uh, rhyming with what Philippe, what Susanna and uh, Mr. St. Manna asked uh, when, how, when, are, when are we going to develop the instruments for research? Uh, how can we conduct inventory uh, for all this biodiversity? I think we need, the catch is we know we have data gaps. And we know the importance of this data. But we, we also know that we cannot possibly have all the data at the same time. We don't have the luxury to, to, to resources, to even expertise. St. John was telling us about the limited capacity in certain um, areas, taxonomy related areas. Even when our partners like you and the chip in to support us in certain areas, we can't all have it at once. So as an action point, and we choose to prioritize which data that we need, which biodiversity data that we're going to start with. Uh, I, I know I'm in a room full of researchers who do a lot of publications, but can we not be um, attracted by looking for data for publication? Much as it is important to publish, to have uh, nice uh, papers published in uh, you know, good journals, but uh, is that the only motivation? Can we be motivated by what, um, what is needed in this country, for instance? Which policy action are we um, contributing to? So then we shape our research that way. We look for funds to fund that kind of research. And I think we can build up from there. We know where we are starting from and we're responding to this. I think that it, it all adds up and it ends up to where we want to go to. And uh, maybe everyone will be sorted. So next time, next meeting like this, we you know we, we've managed to come up with, with what are the priorities. Have we already um, collected data on that? Have we done some publications? Some people informed policy. That is more important to me. Uh, coming from where I come from, has the data informed the policy makers? Have any policy decisions been made? Yes, we have the RBME, but how are we putting all these pieces together? I think is what I wanted to put across. Thank you so much. Um, thank you. Um, I think uh, I would want to say that there's a lot that we can rather join to move forward. Uh, just because of our uh, uh, legal frameworks, existing legal frameworks. Uh, collaboration that we have uh, both uh, regional and international. Uh, the existing dedication of institutions that we come from all of us here, uh, even organizations. Uh, and then also uh, the, the new program or our project of uh, uh, natural card accounting that actually I think uh, has been uh, collected. So leveraging on those, I think uh, we can move forward, but I just wanted to propose a few of the um, uh, steps that we, we can we can have in place so that, uh, like uh, Dr. Mazzola said, we don't come back in the, in, in the meeting discussing the same things that we discussed previously. 
uh, if you allow and go through quickly, I uh, just challenge them. Um, if we can establish a data sharing framework and, and organize related uh, 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 platforms that we can always uh, have this. Uh, I agree on one government institution to lead the process of data sharing and uh, host the database. database. Explore, uh, explore technical platforms to store data. Establish data management culture to standardize the quality of data that concerns even data collection methods. Uh, seek opportunities for data management capacity and funding for it. That brings in capacity building that we've been talking about. Uh, develop monitoring frameworks to consistently publish uh, data. Develop general policies on data sharing. Uh, put in place a diverse informatics strategy for Rwanda. I, 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 I'm not sure whether we have one or we've started with one. Uh, connect to researchers across Rwanda in a forum for the research collaboration, experience sharing, and to develop strategic partnership. I think if we can uh, have this arranged and uh, go through them, I think would help us move to the uh, next step. Thank you. Thank you. I would say that it would be very important uh, to identify the data gaps that the country has in terms of biodiversity and then uh, maybe uh, come up with a list of priorities or maybe an ST1 or another period if we don't have it already. And also, I realize that most of us want to see uh, a system, a system that allows us to integrate uh, the data on the biodiversity, on the system in general, and also in socioeconomic development of the country. And as I said, if we're going to become a climate resilient and green economy, how do we reach them? I think uh, biodiversity data are important, ecosystem health data are important, and that's why maybe I would suggest that the Ministry of the Environment, maybe in collaboration with the Center of Excellence and the other partners can organize a workshop to define the roadmap for this integrated monitoring system for the country, maybe it can take place next year, but it seems to be needed. Thank you. Uh, I'm not going to repeat what others have been saying about the data gap, the capacities, etc. But what I would like to mention now is that some work has been already done, and where Beth mentioned it through digitizing the data on national revenue. I think with the existing that I think ACOS also has done this kind of job. I think I've been through this uh, data, but looking at uh, how to use it for policy making it's not as obvious so for, for me i think we need now to translate this data in uh, policy decision making tools from what is existing already and this i think will give motivation for the government to fund uh, biodiversity data and information so we need to use what we have now how can we i mean retrieve from this uh, data we have policy decision support. Uh, I just want to conclude on this. I've been in a meeting on, uh, in, our, um, in Ethiopia, uh, working on post-2020 biodiversity framework. And people were saying, really we are lagging behind the uh, UNFCCC in terms of communication on biodiversity. So climate change has been really bad. Uh, uh, an important uh, politicized because they have been communicating. Yes, it's true, but you know, climate change has some facilitation. You know, the impacts are really <laughs> real time, you know, yeah, obvious. It's not like biodiversity. So we need really to use this data to see how to communicate just to prevent biodiversity loss and ecosystem 
degradation. So we need really to emphasize on what we have already, how can we package it to communicate to policymakers in a way really that touch those that are planning for country, that are budgeting for the country. So this is my word on that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, analysts, uh, I think we, we need to, to close this. So, but I like the last comment. I also have the same opinion that I don't know whether uh, our partner from South Africa thinks whether we can start and then fill the gaps or build, uh, even if we don't have a complete baseline. I think that's a, a, a good takeaway for me. But I'd like, uh, please join me to uh, thank uh, the panelists who have stimulated this uh, talk. And I hand over to Beth. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I can say for myself, I feel so energized and um, really pleased that so many of you came here and uh, engaged in this discussion with us. And thank you to the panel. Um, my head is spinning with all these ideas that came up. And um, although we do have a lot of gaps and a lot of um, things that we need to do, I think what was also identified is that we um, are on our way. We have already taken the first steps. We have um, very qualified people here in country, and we have just amazing partners um, from different countries with Oxford and Kansas and, uh, Kansas and Sanby and others. So um, I feel really confident that you know we're on our way. And you should stay tuned to um, the coming um, Biodiversity Information Management Forum that, as Marshall mentioned, will be um, coming up in the next month or two. So again, thank you all for um, paying attention here, and um, we hope that you'll stay with us as we continue forward on this journey, on this really um, biodiversity data revolution that we're having. So thank you again. And um, as you're getting up and moving out, please pass by um, Deborah in the back, and she has um, maybe one of the most important things of the day, which is your lunch voucher. So you can have lunch. Thank you very much.